Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the Black-Scholes equations for call options. So the Black-Scholes PDE is Ft plus RSFS plus one half sigma squared S squared FSS equals RF and we'll always specify a terminal payout for Black-Scholes. So f of s and t will be some known function at the expiration time t. In particular, for a call option, we know that this will be equal to the maximum of zero and s minus the strike price for a call option. So, the solution to the Black-Scholes PDE for a call option is given by the following formula. C of S and T is S N of D1 minus K E to the minus R T minus T N of D2, where here D1 is the natural log of S over K plus R plus one half sigma squared T minus T over sigma the square root of T capital minus T and D2 is the log of S over K plus R minus one half sigma squared t minus t over sigma the square root of t capital minus t. And we can observe that this quantity d2 is d1 minus sigma square root t minus t. So part of the verification that this is in fact the solution of this terminal value PDE involves just simply plugging this back in and check. However, there's a way to transform the Black-Scholes PDE into an analog of the heat equation, which we'll see in, fur in further videos, and that's the realistic way of deriving this. Now what we should observe is the following. So note the quantity dc ds is referred to as the delta of the option. So to compute dcds, we'll have to use the chain rule carefully. So dcds is equal to nd1 plus s times the derivative with respect to s of n d1 minus k e to the minus r t minus t, the derivative with respect to s of n d2. Now we'll make the following observation. To compute the derivative with respect to s of n d1, we'll use the formula for d1. So partial, partial s of n d1 is n prime of d1 times the derivative of d1 with respect to s, which is n prime of d1. And now the derivative of d1 with respect to s only cares about this first quantity over here. So note that what we can do with this logarithm term is we can write the logarithm term, the log of s over k is the log of s minus the log of k. So the derivative of d1 with respect to s is going to be 1 over s times sigma the square root of t minus little t. And now recall that n of x is the CDF of a normal random variable with mean 0 and variance 1 is the integral from negative infinity to x of e to the negative t squared over 2 over the square root of 2 pi dt. So n prime of x 
will be 1 over the square root of 2 pi e to the negative x squared over 2. And so in particular what this is, is this will be 1 over the square root of 2 pi e to the negative d1 squared over 2, 1 over s sigma, the square root of t minus t. So we can similarly compute partial s of n of d2, and we will see that this is exactly equal to this expression over here. So combining these two terms, we will be able to conclude that partial c partial s is n of d1, as these terms over here will cancel out. And so we now have a formula for the delta of a call option, which we'll use in future videos as a hedging strategy. Thank you very much.